What is going on, everybody? It is me again, and we have movie number 81, which is Death Rink, which I believe it's 2019. I will have the correct date in my title when I, when I put it up there. But Death Rink is about a roller skating rink that has a past where some kid died because he had epilepsy and the strobe lights killed him. And that's really not of consequence until the very end. But they do talk about, explain, etc. how the babysitter, you know, was, you know, took him there, she should have known better, yada, yada. But you have all these people, all employees working out. You have uh, two guys, you have the female, well, actually you have three guys. You have security guard, you have two, like, younger kids. Then you have three, three, three girls who are working there and the woman who's managing it. And... You know, you know, they're getting some random plank phone call person who keeps calling, like, saying Satan, you know. So they're trying to direct you to something like that initially. Uh, then they're doing something with... Then they're doing something with, like, the security guard goes outside one last checkup and you see him hit from behind. It's like... Then you're thinking that's the killer, so then you take out all the people that were inside together. Turns out that's a red herring, so... Um, I don't know if I should spoil this movie or not. I, I, I mean, I guess I'll dance around it. But usually when I don't spoil a movie, it's because I'm like, you got to go watch this. And as far as this one goes, you could put it on, have it in the background. It's not bad that way. Like, it is a slasher. The only problem is the kills. Like, it's not even about practical effects. Like, but there are a couple of things with the kills that were... One, he slit a throat with a pizza cutter. And I'm sitting there thinking of the dynamic of that, like... I don't know if it would work quite the same way. Like, I don't... Into, it wouldn't go as deep because it would keep spinning. But anyway. Um, and they also... He choked the girl with the cord from a payphone. Yep, a payphone. But the way he did it, he literally took it, he wrapped it, he's like holding it like this, and she's staring at him. She's like, ah, ah, ah. She didn't fight. She didn't poke him in the eye. She didn't kick him the balls. She didn't do any of the things you should do. So, you know, there was no fighting back. And that's pretty much it. Only one person actually fought back, and then he wound up getting overpowered. Um, but then someone saved him, but then they weren't really saved, yada yada. So I won't fully spoil it for you, but it, it has a really cool poster, which I'm using the image in the thumbnail, so you can check it out there. Like, so I did dig that, but, like, it was, it was a regular, it was a, it was a slasher movie that tried to have a twist ending. The problem is, you can't have a twist ending, you can't, they take one of the characters that they portray one way completely, and then they have that character being the killer it doesn't work because you can't have that character being the killer like you're flipping everything around too much like it, this isn't like Mrs. Voorhees where you still got the the hint is weirdness going on or obviously when it came to when it came to um, Superboy Camp 2 you already know going in but Andrew Pamela Swingstein still acted creepy so you kind of got that vibe and this one this person was chill and then all of a sudden they weren't and their reasoning behind doing the killing was you know, that's where you'll see the other thing come back around. So, I guess I'm going to end this one a little shorter since make up for some of the ones that have been going a little bit over. But, again, I, I like this more than The Cottage, I guess, because they did do decent with the characters. But you didn't get anyone really attempted to be killed until more than halfway through. And then when things like that happened, it happened fast. Yeah, nobody was screaming for help. Nobody did any of that. It's just, I don't know, it just didn't make sense. But anyway, folks, let me know... The rest of videos that went up the past couple of days, let me know what you think of them lighting-wise. Because I always, you know, there's a candle I always keep on my desk. You know, like, I, you know, I burn them throughout the day. Uh, especially when I have to be in front of a computer. Uh, and I have that on. I don't have my ring light, but this is giving good light here. So, maybe I don't need the ring light, which can be a little blinding at times. Let me know if it looks fine. If it doesn't, I'll go back to the ring light. But anyway, folks, thanks for checking out. We're at 81. 81's coming out Friday. So, uh, I don't know if we're going to have any more in the can prior to that, because I am I do have a very busy weekend, but we'll see. But either way, we're at 81, which means just 19 more to go, and then we would have hit the goal of 100. So, I haven't said this in a while, but if you have anything you want me to check out, throw down in the comments. Like, the only thing I know I'm going to check out is Trap. I know I've talked about that before, and I know people have killed the movie. I don't care. I've avoided it. I still want to check it out. I like Josh Hartnett, so we'll see. Um, but I'm waiting for that to be a $5 rental and not a $20 rental. So, that'll probably happen within the next two weeks or so. Anyway, folks, peace.